Financial independence. The thought itself is empowering. Being rich or building up an empire from scratch isn't everyone's cup of tea. Many of you might be thinking that you've been struggling for many years. Many seek such a sense of freedom and are looking for a way out. So how do we stop struggling financially? If you're trying to figure out the right attitude and ways, you're at the right place. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification so you won't miss out on any of our upcoming content. What should you think about when you feel your financial stance isn't improving? Are you lacking the motivation and looking for the perfect solution to level up your game? The fact is that the majority is thinking the same. To level up, the foremost thing that you need to do is a healthy mindset. A mistake that you've been making is that you feigned ignorance. Although we know that one shouldn't overlook an individual's potential depending on past mistakes, we're still taken aback or overwhelmed with the debt. Upgrading the quality of life has been everyone's dream for a long time. Didn't you get tempted when you saw the vacation program brochure accidentally? Didn't you feel like buying a Lamborghini or an Audi when you saw your favorite YouTuber's review? Although success looks different to all, a common trait is that you would like to live on your terms. The reason why many are still stuck financially might be due to overspending. The fact is, they are, however, placed well above the poverty line. Have you ever heard the saying, you're born rich? We're indeed a little short of money. However, we're rich in potential, ideas, and leadership attributes. Before you insanely focus on prosperity, you need to have a financial goal and should work forward. You can earn more than what you're earning right now. Affluent people invest in multiple streams and earn hefty sums using this strategy. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. Warren Buffett Well, the saying is true. You can actually earn more money when you're sleeping than you can spend when you're awake. Doesn't it sound exciting? It's right to listen to what an experienced and expert businessman says rather than taking advice from your brother-in-law, friend, or colleague. Before picking up the roads that are not taken, at times it's better to take up the advice and incorporate your idea in the right way. In a nutshell, it's better not to believe in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance and choose the wrong path. Another aspect is that when you're in the middle of financial hardship, it might make you helpless and it would make you feel like you've fallen into an abyss. But giving up because you felt powerless is something that a person without a long-term goal would do. An important reason why people end up being poor is that they don't prioritize or don't pay themselves first. What does that mean? Paying yourself first means putting a part of your everyday paycheck into a savings account before you start covering your living expenses. The second reason why people don't progress much is that they pay their debts or expenses using credit. So, before you put your current happiness while ignoring future financial needs, think twice. Figuring out ways to advance your career will serve as a bonus in the long run. Believe it or not, this is just one of the quickest ways to earn more capital. Even if it's just an extra $50 or $100 a month, don't you think it's an extra that could be put toward getting you out of poverty? Also, something that happens when we start earning is lifestyle inflation. You'll have a temptation to spend more as you start to earn. Cutting those extra spending can lay a great path for moving forward. Rather than buying materialistic things, invest them in dividend stocks, cryptocurrencies, or real estate. What do you guys think? Won't the money generated from these sources do any good? Also, never forget to invest in your capabilities. It'll never let you down in the long run. Your thinking wields more power than you can ever imagine. Believing in yourself is a trait that's hard to come by. It's equally hard to forget about owing a debt and focusing on ways to generate more capital. When you start to think only about debts, you'll be stressed out and won't have the motivation to move on. If you figure out a way to earn $10 extra by signing up for a part-time gig, won't you feel all pumped up and excited? That small stream of happiness can be channeled in the right direction to develop more plans and eventually invest in stocks or assets that will indirectly make you rich. It always takes to take the first step. However, if you're past it, then you can create wonders, so you become what you feed your mind. Do you know who Wang Chang is? Well, it might not be a household name, but you might have certainly heard about his fashion chain, Forever 21. Before building the empire, he used to work as a janitor. 
When he moved to America for the first time, he also picked up several jobs, working in a coffee shop and gas stations. He opened his first store with his wife in 1984 in L.A., and it was about 900 square feet. At the time, they only had $11,000 as savings. They went for an all-in and invested completely in their business. He named it Fashion 21 initially, and customers who visited the shop were mainly of the Korean-American community. The customer base expanded in no time, and he changed his brand name to Forever 21, and it became a huge fashion chain in the industry. At the moment, Wan Chain is a billionaire. What was it that he did differently? He tried to focus on his strength and idea. He suffered for some time to gain long-term financial freedom. He worked for his goal, hopped up by taking small steps, and played as his life depended on it. If he were to use that $11,000 to buy a luxury item, or a thing whose value diminishes with time, he wouldn't have made it to where he is right now. Another entrepreneur who had nothing in advance and became a synonym for entrepreneurial success is the British businessman Richard Branson. Most of us believe that hailing from a wealthy and rich family background shapes your career, and there's nothing that we can do about it. But how did he make it big? First and foremost, he broke the so-called norm, or stereotype, and turned the tables. At one point, the entrepreneur believed that he was the dumbest person at school. Well, like everyone else at first, he wanted to try his luck in business. To do so, he introduced the student magazine, which was launched in 1966. At that time, the youth magazines were essentially boring, and his ideas were something that could be entitled as revolutionary for that time. Since he focused on this particular niche and only a specific reader base, he could figure out what to do next, and he created a space that featured fresh and new content that soon caught the attention of the student audience. Being a man with little financial support, he thought to depend on a stroke of luck. Using this beginner's luck, he earned $1,500 and paid his bills and kept the publication going for a few issues. Eventually, his hard work paid off, and the magazine became a huge success. Those tiny seeds he sowed, thinking about the long-term benefits, served the deal. As we mentioned earlier, as soon as an affluent person finds some financial peace, they'll look for different sources and invest in multiple streams. The entrepreneur is now the founder of brands such as Virgin Records, Virgin Atlantic, and Virgin Money. His new endeavor, Virgin Galactic, also has the potential, and he truly believes it will be the world's first space tourism company. What we can infer from the entire story is that the pain you have now will take you to greater places if you have the right mindset and vision. Don't be pessimistic because of your current financial situation. Every small step you take right now is actually taking you to the place you've always dreamed about. It's something that even an Instagrammer or social media influencer follows. At first, they might have a few hundreds of followers, time is money, and they invest it and come up with new ideas and content to catch attention. Eventually, after picking up the pace, the fan base will increase. Over time, many companies would want them to do promotions, and the story ends on a good note. What they did exactly depended on their creativity and investment of time in it. And step by step, they'll end up having millions of followers. Rather than working too hard, they work smart. If these influencers were to give up too easily, it would become another failure tale. Your mind holds power. Your strength lies in your actions. And your success comes around when you incorporate all the right essences and work towards your ultimate goal. No knowledge is trivial. Read books, develop a thirst for knowledge, and let it be quenched only through success. The passion and the burning desire inside you will take you to higher zeniths. Dream it, work it, earn it. With that, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video informational and wish to see more content, please hit the like button. Do let us know your opinions in our comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notifications so that you always get notified whenever we post a new video. Keep watching our other videos and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.